alteration in the properties of M35 grade concrete with addition of GGBS and jute fiber. Abstract in India there is huge demand of construction materials, out of which cement is one of the important material used in the constructions. Due to large utilization of cement in the construction industry, the manufacturing of cement has to be increased. While production of cement the harmful gases exerted out from the cement kill which is quite harmful to the health of living beings. To get rid off from such health causing issues either it is need to stop the usage of such toxic materials or replacing such materials with eco-friendly material which possess similar properties to the cement. In this paper M35 grade concrete is manipulated with some proportion of GGBS which is replaced with cement and further addition of jute fiber at different proportions. The results shows that GGBS and jute fiber helps to improve the properties of concrete and make the concrete comparatively economical. Keywords jute fiber, ground granulated blast slag, GGBS, slump of mixed concrete, compressive strength, tensile strength, flexural strength. Introduction The global usage of concrete is second to water. Annual worldwide production of concrete is estimated to be around 1 cubic meter for every person on earth. The increased demand for concrete calls for increased production of cement, undisputedly the most widely used single binder ingredient of traditional concrete. The annual rate of increase of cement production is about 3%. The world cement production was about 1 billion tons in 1990, 1 1.5 billion tons in 1995, 1.7 billion tons in 2003, 2.6 billion tons in 2008 it as against the estimated 2.2 billion tons in 2010. By 2020, cement requirement is estimated to be around 3.5 billion tons. It is estimated that with the demographic growth and industrialization, the pollution generated by cement production could reach an alarming 17% of global CO2 emissions which is currently about 7%. In view of this, with an interest in minimizing the overall CO2 emissions associated with OPC composites to the extent technically and economically feasible, and sustainability in concrete construction, blended cements were introduced by partially replacing OPC by supplementary cementitious materials SCM. In this work, M35 grade concrete is experimentally chosen in which cement is to be replaced with GGBS at different percentage of 12%, 22%, 32%, 42%, and 52%, the jute fiber is added at percentage 0.12%, 0.22%, 0.32%, 0.42%, and 0.52%. Literature Review Vijaya Lakshmi R, 2021, investigated mechanical properties and crack arresting mechanism of natural jute fiber used as reinforcement for lightweight concrete masonry prism. 2. Study the load deformation pattern, jute fiber reinforced masonry prism were subjected to axial compression load. From the stress strain behavior it can be concluded that jute fiber reinforcement in foam concrete helps to improve the pre-cracking behavior and prevents the formation of major crack plane in masonry units. From the study it can be concluded the lightweight foam concrete with fiber reinforcement can be used as better alternative to clay bricks and aerated concrete blocks. Pramadina Sahu ETAL, 2020 proposed study on effect of jute fiber orientation and percentage on strength of jute fiber reinforced concrete. In this research, the experiments related to jute fiber reinforced concrete are done by taking different fiber percentage and the compressive strength and modulus of rupture value observed. This work concluded that with jute fiber the compressive strength value more or less changed with respect to plain cement concrete. S. Tewari E.T. A.L. 2020, studied mechanical properties and durability study of jute fiber reinforced concrete. The results shows that the workability indicated that the slump value reduced as an increased amount of jute fiber in the concrete specimen. Also compressive strength reduced in the acid curing as compared to normal curing. Additionally jute fiber increased the compressive and tensile strength of every concrete mix. P. E. Wen Chen E. T. A. L. 2019, worked on ecological upgrade of normal strength of mortar by using high volume of GGBS. 
the ecological upgrade of GGBS-like materials is more meaningful for the sustainable development in the greener way. Comprehensive experiments were conducted to investigate the influence of experimental variables such as content of cement, curing temperature, and mass ratio of water to binder on the fresh properties, compressive strength, hydration products, microstructures and pore structures of normal strength mortar. The results shows that the ecological upgrade of normal strength mortar is feasible. Ashish Kumar Dash ETAL, 2018, researched on different materials like rice husk ash, GGBS, silica fume to obtain the desired needs. Higgins discussed on the effect of addition of a small percentage of calcium carbonate or calcium sulfate on the sulfate resistance of concrete containing GGBS. Sharik Prasad ETAL, 2018, studied the effect of curing procedure on the compressive strength development of cement mortar and concrete incorporating ground granulated blast furnace slag is studied. The compressive strength of OPC concrete shows higher strength as compared to the GGBFS based concrete for all percent replacement and at all ages. Incorporating 40% GGBFS is highly significant to increase the compressive strength of concrete after 56 days than the 20 and 60 percent replacement. Among GGBFS-based concrete 40 percent replacement is found to be optimum. Validi Ravi Kumar ETAL, 2018, studied the behavior of M40 concrete after addition of banana fiber and jute fiber in it. The author found that the compressive strength and split tensile strength increases with the percentage of banana fiber at 0.5% and jute fiber at 0.2% and GGBS at 40%. The flexural strength also increases gradually with banana fiber at 0.075% and jute fiber at 0.2% and GGBS at 40%. Jute with the highest production volume is the cheapest natural fibers. These fibers are extracted from the ribbon of the stem. Jute fibers are composed mainly of the plant material cellulose and lignin. Recent studies have shown that jute fiber delays the hardening of concrete and improves the resistance of concrete against cracking. Workability of jute fiber reinforced concrete mix is improved by using an admixture called tannin. The graphs shows the result of compressive strength at 7 days and 28 days, indicate the values of mix goes on increasing the maximum value at 7 days is 25.96 kn slash mm2 at 0.42% of jute fiber and 42% of GGBS whereas at 28 days the maximum compressive strength value is 48.5 kn slash mm2. The graphs shows the result of flexural strength at 7 days and 28 days, Indicate the values of mix goes on increasing the maximum value at 7 days is 4.98 kn slash mm2 at 0.42% of jute fiber and 42% of GGBS whereas at 28 days the maximum flexural strength value is 9.24 kn slash mm2. Conclusion The slump value increases 131 mm to 155 mm due to jute fiber percentage ranging from 0 to 0.52%. Maximum slump 155 mm is observed at 0.52% jute fiber in concrete mix due to the reason that heavy reinforcement of jute is added. The compressive strength of concrete after 2.8 DAYS curing increases gradually by replacement of cement with GGBS percentage and addition of jute fiber. The split tensile strength achieves maximum position of 6.91 N slash M2 when 0.42% and 42% of jute fiber and GGBS is added to concrete mix after curing 2.8 DAYS. The ultimate flexural strength observed maximum with 42% GGBS and 0.42% of jute fiber i.e. 9.24 N slash M2 of mix after curing 2.8 DAYS.